Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, it is tournament day on Nickajack, and when I do these tournaments, y'all my fishing partner, man, but unfortunately, today, we're gonna have a little bit of a delay because right here's our situation we're dealing with. I'm right here, and you see all them lightning strikes around? That's coming, man. Tournament starts at seven o'clock, it's 6.53, but uh, I think we're gonna play it safe here and delay ourselves for a little while because I can hear it thundering. Of course, not right now while we're filming, but uh, it looks pretty rough over this way. I've heard some booms of thunder driving down here. I saw some lightning strikes, so we're gonna let this mess here get out. It looks like there's some more coming behind it. So y'all get your slicker and galoshes. Today we may get wet, but my plan is I'm gonna launch right here at this ramp and we're gonna fish a deep hole right out here. So once this little storm that's coming up on us passes, we'll get out here, we'll fish. When the next one rolls through, we can make a run to the car here real quick if we need to. But uh, today, seven to three tournament hours scores our three biggest catfish. Blues, flatheads, channels, don't matter, any combination. We're gonna spend all eight hours right out here in this deep hole. It's about 110 feet deep. I'm gonna drop some live baits down, some cut bait down, and we ain't moving until three o'clock. So that's gonna be the plan today if mother nature will allow us to get out here and get started. But hopefully, hopefully we get on it soon, man. I'm Jones and I'm ready, man. I got a whole bucket full of live bait, y'all. We got live crappie in there. We got live yellow bass, some live bluegill, and I got a cooler with some skipjack in it. So we're ready, man. We just need mother nature to let us go. Let's get after it. Well, folks, it's 745. It's still thundering off in a distance, but we finally getting our morning started here. That's a big skipjack head, buddy. We're gonna do cut bait on the back two rods. We're gonna have them going off right here behind us. And we're gonna have live baits on the front too. Yeah, we're going to hopefully get a little time in here before the next round of storms come through. This tournament is open from Chickamauga Dam down to the Alabama-Tennessee state line. So tons of water available to fish. So I imagine a lot of the other guys, I haven't looked at the scoreboard. We have a live leaderboard that fish get submitted to. Uh, I haven't looked at the leaderboard but i imagine a lot of people were probably fishing places that it's not storming so they've got a head start i hope they enjoyed that 45 minutes we give them it's on now by gosh but i'm in a hole right now and we're setting 109 feet deep that's why it's taking this bait so long to drop down there okay folks there he is buddy my regular viewer saw me catch this crappie a couple days ago on my ultralight trip he's a 10 and a half inch crappie he was the only crappie i caught on that particular trip but i said if i could keep him alive and i have he's good and lively by gosh he's gonna go on a hook and go down there so we're gonna run this hook just right through his back i like when i hook these live baits i like to hook them up here toward the front so when a big fish comes up to eat them eat them they usually eat them head first that hooks right up there near right where they're going to be biting so we're going to set some people off right there with our live crappie for catfish bait but by gosh catfish love them and i'm hoping we find a big flathead to love on that crappie today so down he goes 109 feet deep We'll get a, a live, either a live bluegill or the live yellow bass, whichever I pull out of the bucket next, will go on the other rod. It was a live bluegill we pulled out, so down he goes. Our live baits are on Carolina rigs. Our baits behind us, the cut bait there, I've got them on dragging rigs, but I've pretty much just dropped them down straight under us. We don't have any current flow, it don't appear right now. I thought we were gonna have a little this morning, so I thought the current would kind of keep those the the line the leader coming off that dragging rig and whatnot but uh doesn't appear to be any flow right now i'm sure it'll pick up as the day goes on as tva kicks on some generators but right now we're sitting out here just in still water so we're gonna need some fish to kind of swim through our area to pick up on our scent and and pick up on our live bait struggling but by gosh finally 45 minutes later we're at least out here with a line in the water Again, I ain't checked the leaderboard yet. I'm sure some of the other guys probably got on the water no problem this morning, depending on where they were at in relation to the storm. So we got a 
you know, from Chickamauga Dam, basically all of Nickajack and then below Nickajack down to the Alabama line is eligible water so long as we have a public boat ramp. So tons of water out here to fish. I wanted to pick a place that one, I've had success at in the past since I didn't get down here to pre-fish very much. I got one day of pre-fishing in, didn't do particularly well. So I wanted to pick a place that I've had success in before and I wanted to pick a place that was close to the car in case we have to make a run for it in the event of some more bad weather, which looks like another hour or two, we may have some more storms come through. So anyway, we out here though, man, we tried. First place today, we got 12 people in this tournament. First place is paying $1,790, second place 500, third 150, and then there's a mystery fish prize, random fish drawn out, that's $150 big fish prize is 800 and then also for the new people in the tournament they basically got their own little side pot the highest finishing person where it's their first tournament ever catfish sumos put up a prize 150 dollars for them so lots of money at stake out here today and i want my share of it by gosh so we gotta soak these baits like i said as long as we don't get run off the water we ain't moving today until three o'clock because I'm going to pack up at 3. We got till 4 o'clock to make it to check-in, which is about 20 minutes or so from here. So we can fish right up till quitting time today if Mother Nature will allow, fingers crossed. So here's our next weather update, y'all. We're right here at that little blue dot. And right now, we're okay. It's kind of clear around us. But fast forward on this radar, and we got a line of red coming. Looks like about 9.30, so it's eight o'clock right now let's say 757 so we got about a hour to an hour and a half here to catch some fish before we probably gonna have to make a run over here and, and take shelter there's a lot of money at stake today but i ain't risking my life over 1700 dollars, and especially ain't risking it over no damn fish so it starts lightning we out of here we'll go leave the kayak here along the river bank and go get in a car for a little while but you know it's thundering i don't know if you can hear it on camera it's thundering now but we're kind of down in the canyon a little bit and so it just kind of echoes through here and so it's tough to tell exactly how far away stuff is from you but uh well i got my eye in the sky buddy if it if it does anything i'm making a run i'm gonna get over there and run to the car by gosh all right y'all well, my day has gone bad to worse the storm rolled up i had to make a run back to the car I get back to the boat ramp, hop out to the kayak, and this ramp over here is slicker than greased, S-H-I-T. I fall, bust behind me, and slide down the ramp into the water, pushing the kayak off with me during my slide. So I'm soaked, head to toe, completely soaked. I'm trying to climb back up in the kayak, flip my bait bucket over, so I don't know how many of my baits are gone or what, but you know, it's it's monsooning lightning's going around i'm trying to just get back to the car so i swim over to the dock and climb up shove the kayak over to the damn bank and make a run to the car <laughs> i'm soaked man i'm so pissed off like i am soaked head to toe i'm just man when it ain't your day it ain't your day meanwhile people been submitting fish i guess they've been fishing through the damn storms boy so there was a big flash of lightning over there this guy right here bass boat man he's the smartest one of us all because he never launched his boat the other guy from our tournament that put in at this launch i don't know where he's at he's out there in this mess right now he never made it back so hopefully he's okay but i mean it's lightning has been going it's been monsooning it's high winds like it's it's a rough storm but it'll pass here another hour or so and uh we'll see if i want to get back out there or just take my ass to the house sometimes it's best just to cut you losses folks but we will still have half a tournament left once this mess passes so we'll see we'll see how i feel here in the air i don't want to drive in this anyway man this sucks man this ramp i don't recommend it to anybody you will bust your hind in it is slick there's no traction at all man well y'all let's get the camera going right fast miracles never cease i am hooked up with the fish i am still soaking wet my camera was soaking wet at the time of my last update uh, so i'll tell that story again in case that footage got messed up i switched cameras actually my other one was just it went under when i went under i well i took a spill when i ran from the storm and got back to the boat ramp i took a spill 
ended up neck deep in the water lost most of my live bait when i turned the kayak trying to get back into the kayak ended up having to swim to the dock <laughs> so i'm soaking wet all the way to my drawers but i'm back out here on the water now i don't even know what time it is 11 o'clock 12 o'clock somewhere in there finally got baits in the water here a little while ago and now i'm hooked up with something what a day it has been y'all what a day this fish here i don't even remember what bait this is to be honest with you <laughs> i don't even know some days it just ain't your day folks and anytime you go for a swim the the whole thing with kayak fishing is to uh you know stay on top of the kayak not be swimming beside it but boy that boat launch over there pure algae man i stepped out i wish i had been filming at the time because i bet you my feet was above my head when i hit the concrete and then could not get any traction just kept sliding on down and then my dumb ass tries to climb up in the kayak tips the bait bucket over lost most of my bait so anyway i'm not getting skunked apparently because i got one on here I'm taking my time i'm 104 feet deep so taking my time bringing him up we'll get on the board here ryan fished through the storms so he's got like 118 inches i think last i looked he's dominating i ain't risking my life for no fish even though i risk my life trying to run from the storm <laughs> maybe it'd been safer i'd have been safer i guess just coming out here with lightning crashing around me than trying to hop out the kayak on that slick concrete that's a good fish buddy that's a good one old blue cat let's see if we can find our glove here all right kitty cat what's the odds you'll let me land you slim to none let's bring him in way on the board y'all pretty good fish that's a pretty good one right there it's not going to help my day as pissed off as i am but uh things could certainly be worse right now all right y'all there's the fish i can't get him to lay still on the board he's a whopper man i'm gonna set you up here i'm gonna try to get y'all maybe at least get a picture of me and this fish and i got all my that gun it i got my lines hung in this damn log we got a bunch more debris floating down river right here ain't my day man ain't my day but we got us a whopper right here buddy y'all snap a picture of that fish for me real quick he's got a gut on him don't he y'all get a picture of this fish and we'll try to get these lines undone and just i guess set everything back out man <laughs> it's just it's that kind of day folks get out of here fish here we go again here we go again oh man here we go this same rod i put a piece of bluegill on this i've got two rods in the water right now i had two back rods that i had cast out but there's so much debris floating down river they've kicked up the flow and we got a bunch of grass and objects and stuff going down river so i've got my back rods up they're just back here catching grass right now i'm trying to navigate the front two rods just around the objects as they float down river but this one just went down i haven't got my other fish submitted yet i was trying to get these rods sorted out i still don't know if he's going to be i took a bunch of pictures our tournament here i don't if you're new to my channel are new to the tournament videos these kayak catfishing tournaments score our three longest catfish and we take a picture on an approved measuring board has a date time gps stamp and our unique tournament identifier code that's given out the night before the tournament and so i took several pictures of that last fish and i haven't got a chance to really look see is he 39 and three quarter is he 40 he's somewhere around 40 inches he was not wanting to cooperate on that board 
and I had a mess of my other lines and so I was trying to work as quickly as possible and I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this fish because I'm looking up here I got a log floating down and a bunch more grass coming here so I want to take my time with these fish bringing them up because they're I'm fishing so deep today I'm 102 feet here where I'm at but I want to make sure these fish are released in good condition but at the same time too we got to do it quickly because of the dang because of the dang debris field coming man when they kicked up that flow all of this stuff started coming down river let's see if we can get a look at this thing i know video today y'all not gonna be I'm, I've been in a piss poor mood to be quite honest with you. Okay, there we go. Blue cat. He's got leeches or something all over him there. Nasty looking thing. Missing an eyeball too. He's an ugly old fish, but hey, that's one more fish closer to our limit. We need, need really two more big ones to go with our other, our last fish. But this one here, it's another one to score by gosh. I'll take it. Let's get him landed here. I think that log that's coming is hopefully going to miss us to the left. But we do still have some grass coming through here that we're going to have to navigate these lines around. Okay. Come on in, fish. Whoo, oh, buddy. I'm still pissed off, but my mood's getting better by the minute, y'all. <laughs> y'all, that one there, 31 and a quarter inches, so I'll take it, man. That fish right there, he'll get us fish number two toward our, toward our limit, by gosh. Look at all this mess, though, coming, man. It's just grass. There's another log there coming, just a, a mess. I'm going to basically just have to go down to two rods, I think. I'm gonna suspend two best I can. Since the, since the flow picked up, my eight ounce sinkers, this line here still in water, you can see them, I don't know if you can see or not with the lighting, but my line's at a huge angle. So I can't really, I can't really suspend vertically under me right now, but uh, we're just gonna make it work, man. We need one more fish to, just to get a limit and uh, I'm at least more optimistic. I'm at least thinking about sticking it out to the end of the term. I was really close to going home, y'all. Really close. When you're sitting out here soaking wet, nothing's went right. It's like, ain't your day, you know? But wait, we get around all this mess and figure out a way to fish through this grass here. Maybe we can get a third fish and work something out of this. Oh, it's going down. Number three, if we can land him. Number three, y'all. Maybe we can salvage this day. <laughs> but if we get a if we get our limit it could somehow salvage something out of today what an ordeal man the sun's come out now these storms have passed i'm actually drying out a little bit everything but my underwear is just about dry and of course my seat cushions on the kayak here they're drenched so i'm i'm basically i'm gonna have swamp ass all day I've just accepted that. But it's a whole lot easier to deal with when you when you got fish on. This one ate a skipjack chunk. I reeled everything up a little while ago. I just been working around this debris that's coming down through here. And I put on extra lead. So I've got, I was running eight ounce sinkers. Now I've got two eight ounce sinkers. So I got 16 ounces of lead trying to keep everything vertical. And it ain't so much the current flow that's making it difficult to keep everything under me as it is just the grass. When the grass hits the line, it creates all that extra drag as the current goes by. And so that's what's wanting to push your baits back and up higher in the water column. So I'm just trying to compensate for it and keep my baits a couple, three feet off the bottom. So far, so good. But this one ate a skipjack chunk. I've got a bluegill head on the other rod. And then I threw out my other dragging rod behind me when the bulk of the debris passed. And I've got a skipjack head on it. 
So I've got back to running three lines here. But so far, the suspended baits has been what's got us the three bites that we've that we've gotten. I'll be getting fairly close with this one here now. I'll do a leaderboard update here once I get this one submitted. I got my other two submitted. I had a, that one ended up being 40 inches. And I zoomed in on the picks. The other one was 31 and a quarter. So I'll do a leaderboard update once we get this one scored and submitted and everything. I know this video today, with between my poor attitude and the weather and all that, it's just one of them days, man. Not the best day for filming, for sure, but we're making the most of it. That's what we got to do. Just keep grinding, keep hustling. And we got another fish here. He ain't very big, but if we can get him landed, he will complete our limit. And hopefully, the time we got left, maybe we can stumble into a monster out here. Anything's possible, man. I feel like the universe owes me one today. The universe been laughing at me when I was feet above my head over there on the dang ramp in the water, man. Is that right, fish? Come on in here. I'm going to bring you in like that because that hook's going through the bottom lip right there. As bad as my day has been to this point, I for sure don't want to wear a hook. That'd make it even worse. Well, folks, this one here, Henri old thing, he's going to be either 29 and a half or 29 and three quarter, depending on the picture. But I'll take it, my gosh, I'll take it. Gets our limit. Let's do a leaderboard update here when I get him submitted. Okay, y'all, so 101, just under two hours left to go in this tournament. Only 24 fish have been submitted from 12 people. Uh, very low numbers of fish, but Ryan's in the lead, 117 inches. Matt Stewart in second with 103.5. Somehow or another, I've made my way up to third place, 101 inches right there. 40 inches, 31 and a quarter, and that last fish was 29 and three quarters, so... Still two hours to go. Lots of things could happen out here, not just with me, but with the others too. But uh, anything's possible, man. Right now, Ryan still has big fish. Him and I are tied, 40 inch fish for a big fish, but he would hold the tiebreaker because his second biggest fish is bigger than my second biggest. And his second biggest is 38 and three quarters. So uh, yeah, y'all, it's a, uh, what a day, man, what a day. You wouldn't even know. I mean, look at it out here now. Sun's out. It's beautiful out here at the moment. It's just nasty morning and a nasty fall by my part. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt. Just pride and ego. But boy, you, anytime you go swimming first thing there in the morning on a kayak fishing trip, it's just the day's pretty much shot <laughs> at that point. The, I don't even know that cashing a check in this thing is going to improve my mood today, but it certainly wouldn't hurt it. So hopefully good things are going to happen to us. I've, I've Right now I've put on two skipjack heads, by the way. I've rebated both rods before I submitted that fish. So I've put on two skipjack heads. We're swinging for the fences. Uh, and that third rod back here, which has probably got about 57 pounds of grass on it by now, it's got a skipjack head too. So we're doing all big baits, all skipjack heads for the final two hours out here. And just, that's my favorite bait. That's my confidence bait. And so that's what we're going with the rest of the time here. We're swinging for the fences, y'all. Whatever happens at this point, man, we're just, we're just hoping to knock one over the fence. Oh, here we go, folks. I was just looking at the scoreboard, and here's old Lindsay. Look who it is. How are you? You know, getting my ass whooped today, Lindsay. How are you? You're live on video, by the way. I figured I was. That's why I thought I'd give you a call. <laughs> Returning the favor from last time, huh? I am. And, and you know, I even took some time out of my busy day because I'm decorating for my grandbaby's birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, so I just, how's third feeling right now? You know, I, listen, I'm about to cash a check. Lindsay, I've done went for a swim this morning. Uh, <laughs> my day has gone to shit since the first thing. So if I walk out of here cashing, that's like, that's as good as a first place to me, by God. <laughs> there you go. Hey, 
hey, you gotta find the good somewhere, right? You, you got you gotta find the good when you're sitting out here in swamp ass all day. You gotta find the good. <laughs> I, I was, it was a, coming a monsoon. I made a run to the ramp over here, hopped out on this algae covered slick concrete. And the next thing I know, my feet's in the air. I'm flat on my back and I'm sliding down the ramp like I can't get traction. And so I tried, I tried climbing back up in the kayak, flip my bait bucket over. Then I had to swim to the damn dock. It was a mess, absolute mess. And I, I was like, I may just go home, but then Ryan called to shit talk, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to find a way to beat this guy. So you tell me you had your GoPro on during all no, this. no, because that would have been gold. That would have been gold. That would have made it all been, worthwhile. Yeah, that would have been an awesome bloopers reel, and, and it would have just made my day to be able to see. It. I, I know it would. have. People like to see me blunder. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's okay. Now I have lots of stuff to be able to razz you about. Yeah, well, I just won't pick up the phone next time. You have to razz yourself. <laughs> that's okay. Well, um, I just wanted to see how your day was going. And, you know, mm -hmm. Ryan had just told me you were in third. And I said, I need to take a minute to give Justin a call. Yeah, well, it's going to be better here in about 20 minutes. I'm, t I'm heading north and ain't looking back, by God. <laughs> I don't blame you. But, you know. <laughs> Hey, you have your days. Some days are good, some days are bad, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, I will talk to you later and be safe. All right. See you then. Bye. Bye. Yeah, by gosh. Here I was turning the camera on, trying to look at the leaderboard. I was third last I looked, and there's old Ryan's wife, Lindsay. I razzed her in the last video there. She's returning the favor today, by God. But hey, looky there. I'm still in third place, 101 inches with 24 minutes left to go. So, folks, like I told Lindsay, with everything that happened to me today, if I can walk out of here in third place and cash a check, I'll take it, by gosh. I'll take it and not look back. And hopefully, I get home today. I forgot to mention this earlier and all the chaos. We got another competition going on today as we got more damn grass, man. This grass is just relentless. 24 more minutes of these floating grass pads. But uh, another competition I get home. Daphne the dog got a new bike. The Wind One E2, we're gonna race it. May need to wait till tomorrow when this bad Judy gets off of me, new day, you know. Either way, stay tuned in this video, whether it's this afternoon or tomorrow. Me and Daphne the dog, we putting her new electric bike to the test. So stay tuned for that. I got a fish right here acting like a flathead. Look at that rod tip. It's just kind of wavering. It's up and down, just a little bit of weight. He better get it quick though, if he's gonna get it. You think you just let it go? Yeah, he just, no, he's back on it. I'm going, we'll see what time it is here, folks. It's 2.50. We're gonna have to pick up. He's either got it or he don't. He's got it. We're running out of time. I gotta get this fish landed, pictured. I don't have to get him scored by three o'clock, but the picture has to be taken by three o'clock. I think this is a flathead. Now, will he be an upgrade on my score? I don't know, but I'd like to have it nonetheless. I don't like bringing up fish this quickly, but we're out of time. We gotta, we gotta get the heck out of here, man. I'm ready to go too, but after today, just one of them days, but man, we've rebounded best we could. For how the day started with the storms and then going, going swimming, I think we've rebounded about as good as we could. But the overall, there hasn't been very many fish caught by anybody. Which, you know, we got the spawn going on down here right now. The tournament director didn't really schedule this tournament at the best time for good numbers of fish. Only me and Ryan's fish, last I looked, were the two only two 40-inch fish class caught. So, oh, no, I've lied to you. That turned out to be a blue. Well, he sure acted like a dang flathead, didn't he?
I don't think he's gonna I don't think he's gonna help us. We'll put him on the board and find out, but I don't think it's gonna be an upgrade. Oh, oh well we ain't gonna do nothing. There he went. Bait popped out. I switched that out to a bluegill head a little while ago just to try something different since the skipjack wasn't working and he popped it right there last second. That's okay. It wasn't going to do nothing for us anyway. Send that out of here. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not even dropping that back down because we've got just a few minutes left here to go. Time I got rebaited, it'd be time to reel it up. So I'll give you one last look at the leaderboard here. Let's see where we're at. 252. I'll uh, update this here. 35 fish caught between 12 people. <laughs> so very, very poor numbers. Uh, I am still, ooh, uh, Patrick Mize has moved up the leaderboard here. He is a quarter inch behind me right now in fourth place. So, boy, these last seven minutes, y'all, could be critical. But as of right now, old Ryan Bortz, man, getting the the win and the oh no patrick myers jumped ryan there for big fish he's got a 41 and a half inch fish so ryan can kiss that 800 dollars goodbye <laughs> gosh <laughs> i i love that you know because uh, you know ryan that's what he gets by gosh he just had his wife Lindsay call me a little while ago just to give me hell because he thought he had this thing locked down first place in big fish and look at him now there went 800 dollars by gosh I, the, only, the only bad thing about, I'm obviously not going to beat him. We need, you know what we need? We need Matt to beat him. Because Matt would just, if Matt could hook up with a couple big fish. Nope. Patrick just, Patrick just jumped over Matt. Oh, you know what? I think he's turned all his fish in at once. I think he was sandbagging today. Yeah, all three of those fish just got submitted. So he's probably been near the top of the leaderboard the whole time and just sandbagged everybody. But uh, I was hoping maybe Matt, if Matt was still in second place, I was hoping he was going to leapfrog Ryan and knock him out of there. So I just got, boy, the bad day just turned worse, y'all. So now I ain't even cashing. <laughs> At least, if nothing else, you know what? It's 254. Let's reel up and get the heck out of here. I'm done filming. I'm done fishing. I'm done with these pleasure boaters that have come out here by the drove since the sun popped out and i'm done with all this damn grass so <laughs> and here comes two more by gosh them old giant ski boats so it's time to go to the house y'all let's go play with daphne the dog shout out to ryan congrats to him uh oh hello oh tits mcgee just went by on that one at least if they're going to go by and put off all this wake, at least be looking like those girls were, right? I mean, it could be it could be far worse. So, <laughs> anyway, though, I'm tired of it, y'all. It's been a crummy day. Let's go home. Let's get on that bicycle. Race old Daphne the dog. And then uh, I, may just, I may just hide in the house until tomorrow and hope tomorrow's a new day. All right, folks, now that the tournament is over, the real competition can begin. Me... And Daphne the dog. Hey, Daphne, come over here. Come over here and tell these people how bad you're going to beat me in this race. Good news is, since this race is just between me and Daphne, I'm guaranteed of finishing no worse than second place. So I'm already going to finish better than what I did in the catfish tournament. But I'm going to show you her new bike here. And then me and her, we're going to race this thing around the property. But this is the Wind One E2 electric bike. Brand new model they've come out with. And this thing, man, I'm telling you, just from a, a visual perspective, it looks cool, I think. I like the black color. It's a comfortable ride. It's got dual suspension, front and rear, and it's got a seat foam padding all the way back. And I've talked about this with some of the other electric bikes that I've got. I've gotten several on this channel. Y'all, my regular viewers have seen it. I love this style of seat compared to the traditional bicycle seat. When I'm riding around, I'm not a traditional bike rider. When I ride, I'm racing Daphne around my yard, which is super bumpy, kind of off-road terrain. Those normal 
traditional bicycle seats, they hurt. They hurt the crotch area, the taint area. When you get seats like this with this thick foam padding, add that in with the dual suspension, man. It's a, it's a comfortable ride when you're going over off-road, bumpy terrain. You can ride this bike anywhere. Gravel, concrete down your road, or you can take it off down bumpy yards, off-road paths, wherever you want to. But anyway, uh, the Wind 1E2, it's got an electric motor here on the rear wheel. Your lithium battery is, is stored right here on the frame. It's got an on-off switch to the battery. Your charging port is here. Display up here on the front, you've got battery life indicator, speedometer. This number five here, that's your pedal assist, which you can go up and down on. It's got five levels that you can go up and down on with the plus minus here on the left handlebar. And you got your odometer there. It's also got seven speed Shimano gears. If you want to ride it like a normal bike, you can certainly do so. Me though, I ain't riding like a regular bike, man. I'm electric only. I'm going to hit that throttle and go when me and Daphne are doing a race. But again, just a sharp looking bike. I like this style of bike more so than the traditional bicycle look i think it looks more like a like a motorbike if you will it's just got a it just looks cool in my opinion but it's got these big 20 inch fat tires big headlight on it there just a, it's a pretty awesome looking bike so me and daphne i don't know where the heck she's run off to hopefully she's wearing out some energy because i want to win this race y'all daphne the dog aka the baby cheetah undefeated against these electric bikes but me and her we're going to start over here at these power lines we're going to race down the hill, across the driveway, up this side of the property, around my house. And whoever gets back over here to the power lines first, that's your big winner. And again, after the way the tournament went for me, I feel like the universe owes me a win, folks. So <laughs> we're going to hop on this. Wind 1 E2 against Daphne the dog, a.k.a. the baby cheetah. Y'all, hey, let's go get it on. All right, dog, are you ready? Let's do it, let's go. Here we go, y'all. She's off to an early lead. She's got explosive speed off the line. I'm gaining on her though. Oh, she's cut in front of me here. She's reckless. I get fearful going across that driveway and making the jump. Oh, she's taunting us up there, man. Watch her, she's probably gonna stop over there and see the groundhog. Maybe that groundhog will distract her. She's coming back to taunt us again. Did you see that? She turned around to come back to us. You danged old dog. Why would you just let me win one time, dog? Just one time. Oh, man. 18 miles an hour here. Now she's going to eat the tires on this thing. Go ahead and eat them tires, dog. Go ahead. I, I know you want to. She's a vicious animal, folks. Goodness gracious. Well, folks, again, Daphne the dog remains undefeated. 18 miles an hour is no match for the baby cheetah, but I'll tell you what, buddy. Comfortable ride, the Wind 1 E2. Very comfortable ride going through my bumpy yard there, man. Especially when I go across the driveway down there. Like, it's a, it's a Dukes of Hazard style jump when you go across that thing. You don't notice it all when you got one of them thick padded foam seats like that and the suspension. So y'all check them out. I'll have the link in the video description there to take you to their website. Y'all can check out this bike there. In the event they give me some kind of discount code for y'all, I'll certainly add that down in there too. But again, new bike from Wind One E2. Y'all check it out. Special shout out to them. Thank y'all for sending the bike. We love getting these electric bikes. Daphne over there, she's just gone. She's rested in the grass. She thinks so little of us right now. She's so far above us, she's got her back to us. The ultimate sign of disrespect from Daphne the dog. We love, seriously though, we love getting these bikes, man. They're a lot of fun. It's just, it's a, it's, it's a way to exercise. A lot of people get a, a bike just for their own personal enjoyment, but me, I use a bike to run that dog, man. She's so high energy, high, uh, just energetic dog. I, I get her out here. I make her run around the yard. She thinks she's playing. I'm really just running the energy out of her. But anyway, y'all, I guess uh, I've lost twice in a row. I lost in the catfish tournament. Now I've lost in the bicycle race. <laughs> 
It wasn't an ancient day, an ancient day, folks. But anyway, thank y'all for watching, listening to me whine this whole video. Y'all check out this bike, and we'll see you in the next video.